name is Stephen Powers. Today we're doing a volunteer effort to restore the fences around the original boundary stones. And the stones were put in the ground in 1791 and 92 to delineate the 10 miles square lands that would be given to the federal city to make up the boundaries of uh, the District of Columbia. The survey itself was done by Andrew Ellicott in 1791 and 1792. He laid out 40 stones, each representing a one-mile distance along the four legs of the 10-mile square. This particular stone we're at is the north cornerstone. It represents the most northern point of the limits of the District of Columbia. In 1790, Congress passed the Residence Act, which allowed the 10-mile square to be placed on land donated to the federal government by Maryland and Virginia. This, this area of where to put it was hand chosen by George Washington after a, a two to three month long courtship from other locations along the Potomac River. Of the 40 original stones, 36 remain to this day. From 1915 to approximately 1925, the Daughters of the American Revolution put fences around all of the 40 stones, as many as they could. American Society of Engineers saw that these stones had been orphaned, and many of them were in disrepair and neglect. The fences that have been put up by the Daughters of the American Revolution in the early 1900s are coming up on 100 years old, and many of them are not maintained by anyone at all. American Society's engineers in 2009 adopted as a project to restore the fences and work with those interested in the stones to uh, strip down the paint off the existing fence, prime it with a rust inhibitor, and then cover it with a rust-oleum top coat. On the side representing the federal uh, city, it says jurisdiction of the United States, miles one through nine, depending which point. On the other side, it would say Virginia or Maryland, depending of uh, the jurisdiction on the uh, other side of the boundary. The year the stone was engraved, either 1791 for all the Virginia stones or 1792 for all the Maryland stones. And the final side has the reading of magnetic north of the compass at that site.